Um, this is this is Kingdom View of Marriage and um, Relationship series. Kingdom View of Relationship and Marriage. Um, I want you to understand that um, you have to be watchful in relationship. Don't get too carried away by love. Are you there? If you are too carried away by love, that love may carry you away from love. It may carry you away from the true love because your eyes will be blinded. A love that can carry you away can even carry you away from marriage. So you have to be very careful. Don't, you know, don't allow anybody to lord over your life in a relationship. A relationship that is not even up to a month, two, two months. The boy, the brother is already telling you, this is what I want, this is what I don't want, this is how you should dress, this is how you should not dress. It is not supposed to be so. Be yourself. If they cannot, you know, flow with some of your principles, let them go. If they are truly sent to you by God, then they will stay. There are certain part of you that you must not change your relationship. Though you may still change them when you get married or later as the relationship, you know, pass through the test of time. But don't don't be too fast to change everything about yourself. Otherwise, you will be you will be acting cheap. And when you act cheap, you know what happens? You may suffer a cheap wreck. I pray the Lord helps us in Jesus' name. And you know, this one especially for for our brother. You know, especially for, for the brothers. You know, as a brother, when you want to speak to a sister about marriage, please, you know, don't bring religion into it. Statements like, what's the name of your church? It's not necessary. It's not necessary. Statement like, okay, uh, can we pray? You are not doing Bible study. Just go straight to the point and get your response. If it will be yes, it will be if, it will be no. And if it will be wait, then you get it. Many people, they, they, they so much design their proposal in such a way that the lady cannot say no. And because they are, they are being carnal about what they are saying, they end up missing the will of God. Sometimes that no that you have gotten from that brother, from that sister, can be a blessing to your life. But you will not know until in time to come, and you will now be thanking God for that, that decision you have taken then. There are certain relationships that is that has broken now. Now, but that 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 you know that brokenness is actually a blessing from God. But you won't know until in time to come. So you don't need to stay at a point, you know, crying for one somebody left you. No, don't cry. Just focus on God. In time to come, you will know that some of these things you think is a disadvantage to you is actually an advantage to to your future every nation is a soft you know every nation is a subset of the family this shows how important the family is a poor family will definitely produce a poor nation when i say poor i'm not referring to financial aspect i'm talking about mentality this is what brings marriage into the picture there will be no family without a marriage because even family is a subset of marriage for a nation to be better we must ensure a better marriage if we want a better life for ourselves then we must maintain a better family relationship when marriage issues are properly handled then the future of a nation is secured um another thing to notice heaven is not sure if your marriage is not sweet heaven is not sure if your marriage is not sweet a good marriage is a heaven on earth you know a good marriage brings you a heaven on earth experience while the wrong marriage you know exposes you to a kind of hell on earth experience as a single if you still end up making the same mistake others made then you are not wise as a single 
if you still end up making the same mistakes that others made while they were choosing their married partner then it may mean that you are not observant enough to be single is to be learning if god never wanted singleness he would have just created eve and adam the same day so that means singleness is a blessing if and only if we can make an effective use of it for proper marriage preparation you are single because god wants you to acquire enough knowledge on marriage before going into it if you are married there are a lot of expectations from you as a couple this expectation involves both the positive and the negative aspect some people are hoping that one day both of you will come to them to settle your disputes while some keep expecting that they will come to you for advice you must reach a solid conclusion with your partner that you will disappoint every negative expectations you will need to make an achievable goal and run with it irrespective of the sacrifice it may demand you know another point is whatever information you do not know about your marriage partner let them form the basis of your questions before marriage because in marriage asking questions will be less important ask your questions now that you are unmarried know all that you need to know about him or her because in marriage your questions may no longer count if you cannot see the invisible then it will be very difficult for you to make the right choice in marriage you know if you cannot see the invisible then it will be difficult for you to make the right choice in marriage because uh, the will of god for you may not look like it in the beginning ordinarily no woman will want to marry a man like job in such a terrible state even when god says yes you may personally say no considering his present state who can ever believe that job's future will be better than his beginning for you to be able to make the right choice you must be able to see the future ability to see beyond present situation many people are regretting for their response to some individuals which they have seen as a nobody ending up as a somebody if you despise them because they look helpless and hopeless today without considering what god is saying about them then you will be shocked to see how the lord will change them tomorrow if you cannot go through the stress of raising up children then you should not be willing to experience the joy of getting married are you getting that if you cannot go through the stress of raising up children then you should not be willing to experience the joy of getting married though marriage is not just about giving birth to children but once god blesses you with them then they automatically become your responsibility children changes marriage equation from singular to plural for the husband it is no longer my wife my wife it is now my wife my children and for the wife it is no longer my husband my husband it is now my husband my children your children are not strange they are part of the family children are not bond breakers they help the you know they help to strengthen the marriage bonds another point is this whenever sex happens against each other's will in marriage it is called a rape so that means it's possible for you to get married and still be raping each other sex must be done by will there's there should be nothing forceful about it it should be pleasurable not not regrettable any forceful sexual action is a rape no matter where it happens another point is you know it is always good and safe to know the kind of family you want to marry from this is applicable to both male and female because once you marry them 
you are equally married to everyone in their family. Make quality research about each other's family. They may look, you know, this may look simple, but it will be helpful to you. Know their family before saying yes to them. Once you get married to him, once you get married to her, what you are doing is you are marrying everyone in the family. So it is now when you get married that you will know that it is beyond my man, my woman. No, you will know that my family, my family is also involved. 